new billboard featured Kamala Harris and Sleepy Joe as Dumb and Dumber is going viral. In this video, we're going to look at the billboard that's breaking the internet as we speak. We're going to see the latest on the Democrats jumping ship, not just from Kamala Harris's administration, but from Congress as a whole. And stick with me to the very end of this video when I'll reveal the latest Democrat to switch parties and what it all means for the bloodbath that awaits them in the 2022 midterms. You are not going to want to miss this. Greetings, everyone. Dr. Steve here with you. Great to be with you. As always, I am your daily fake news antidote as each and every day I provide paid patriotic analysis to help you to think better so you can feel better in these crazy and turbulent times. So if you haven't already done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. Before we begin, as you know, I recently retired from academia to go full-time here at Turley Talks, fighting the fight for freedom, bringing the good news of patriotic conservatism to people all over the world. But I need your support to help me keep my business going in the midst of constant threats from cancel culture. So my team and I have created an amazing merch store with the best designs in the world, like this Freedom Isn't Free t-shirt, truer words have never been said. We got some of the best Patriot gear where you can pick out something that spreads hope and supports my channel here at the same time. So make sure to click on the link below. Get your Patriot merch today. These designs, gang, they are punchy. They're fun. They're the perfect Christmas gift for the Patriots in your life, but they're not going to stick around for long. So click on that link in the description right now to both support me and spread Patriot hope. And I cannot thank you enough this Christmas season. All right, gang, let's dive right in here. This is just too good. All right. A billboard in what's believed to be Richland County, Wisconsin is turning heads of late, not just on the highway. It's a billboard that depicts Cackles, Kamala, and Sleepy Joe as Dumb and Dumber, of course, from the hit movie. Pictures of the billboard have gone viral on Twitter, and it's but the latest in a whole series of humiliations that have befallen the current regime in the White House. Frankly, gang, I got to be honest with you, with this billboard as our backdrop here, I literally cannot keep up with the amount of articles that are coming out in the mainstream media of late, or better, we should just call it the lamestream media, right? That are nothing less than utterly panicked about the upcoming midterms. I mean, they're doing everything they possibly can to get the Democrats to pivot in some way, to try to find another issue they can distract voters with. Maybe they can help plot another January 6th. You know, anything to get people to stop looking at inflation and the southern border and Biden's cognitive decline and unemployment and mass crime surges and on and on. But unfortunately for the Democrats and their pathetic cheerleaders in the mainstream media, it just ain't happening. Look at this from the ultra leftists over at Salon.com. The Democrats are facing, I love this phrase, they are facing nothing less than what this leftist author calls an electoral Armageddon. How's that for a term? An electoral Armageddon. Look at this from Politico. The Democrat brand is broken and the infrastructure bill isn't Fixing it. Now that's interesting because that's all we heard from the lamestream media for weeks. All we heard when the stupid trillion dollar spending spree was being debated was that the Democrats needed to pass this bill. And once they do, all of a sudden American voters are going to flock over to the Democrats because finally they'll realize adults are in charge. Finally, we have some fiscal responsibility. The mainstream media really believed this stuff. And they would prop it up with these bogus polls that showed supposedly overwhelming support for the infrastructure bill. And all of this nonsense. And what do you know? They pass it and the media's bluff is being called. Bumbling Biden and the Dems are even more unpopular than before the bill was passed. And this is, this is a beauty. You're going to love this one. You now have Democrat strategists out there saying, you ready? It's all too late. <laughs> We're effed. <laughs> Whatever the Democrats and their apologists and the media come up with, it's all too little too late. It's over. We're effed. We're facing electoral arm again in the midterms. There's nothing we can do about it. And we can see this overwhelming defeatism take over the Democrats by virtue of the fact that either they're resigning or they're switching parties. Okay, we're seeing record numbers of retirements and resignations on the one hand, and we're seeing more and more Democrats jump ship and join the Republicans on the other. This is how you have to understand what's going on right now with Kamala Harris, okay? Kamala is a symbol of a crashing Democrat party. 
After a senior advisor, Simone Sanders, announced her resignation last week, reports came out that a number of key members in Harris's administration, they're all looking for the exits. They're out of there. Politica is reporting that we're going to see all kinds of rats, that is, demo rats, jumping ship over the next month or so. And we're learning at least in part why that is. It's being widely reported that Kamala Harris is basically a horrible person. There's just no other way of putting it. Harris is a horrible person. She's a bully. She's what they're calling a soul-destroying management style that's causing her staffers to just flee in record numbers. I mean, it gets even worse. They're now reporting that staffers don't want to be stigmatized as a, quote, Harris person. Apparently, again, we've got to understand, gang, this is being reported, right? The mainstream media is openly stating this. They're openly stating that Kamala Harris is not just a bully and not just soul-destroying, your <laughs> staff is also being stigmatized by others in Washington, D.C. who want nothing to do with them or Kamala. Now, we talked about this last week. Make no mistake, this is not mere honest journalism, okay? These aren't a bunch of left-wing actors who finally found some semblance of a soul here. No, we have to ask why so many journalists are turning on Kamala right now. And it seems to me the obvious answer is they want her gone. Okay, they quickly are recognizing that she's totally unelectable. A dog catcher could win over Kamala at this point. They know Joe's not going to be around in 2024. His, his cognitive decline is getting worse. So the media is trying to open up the field for someone like Pete Buttigieg or Cory Booker or Elizabeth Warren or Amy Klobuchar or someone, anyone who can maintain some semblance of a liberal standard. Even the Democrats get pummeled in the midterms. And in the 2024 presidential election, Kamala Harris is emphatically not that person. And so the media is doing everything it possibly can to savage her to basically get rid of her. And I can't think of any other reason for such vicious press coverage of a mainstream media that's admitted, they've openly admitted, that they are now activist advocates for the Democrats. So, you, you know, you got the resignations going on surrounding Kamala. And again, it gets even worse. Democrat after Democrat are announcing their retirements. Even CNN is recognizing this is becoming a huge issue for the Democrats. It's obviously an open admission that they believe they're going to get crushed in the midterms. They don't want to be in the minority again for the next several months. And the more demo rats that jump ship, ironically, the more retirements we can expect. Cowardice is contagious. And more and more Democrats are going to think it utterly futile to hang around when everyone else is getting out. But, <laughs> and here's what makes it so much fun, but it gets even worse. And that's because Democrats are also starting to flip. They're defecting and joining the Republicans. But before we get into that, let me ask you patriots out there, do you want to help change America? If you're a patriot, I know you do, okay? And we're so excited to announce we are soon launching a new opportunity for patriots to join our fight for freedom all across our nation, indeed throughout the world. Now, I'm going to be revealing to you in the next few days how we can come together and fight tyranny like never before. This is an opportunity for anyone and everyone. It doesn't matter your age, your abilities, doesn't matter your financial situation. And it's going to be a special bonus I'll be sharing about as well. I cannot wait to tell, this, tell you about this in the next few days, but you got to stay tuned. All right, we've got another Democrat switching parties in the news. And this is none other than the former spokesman for the D.C. mayor. I mean, Washington, D.C. is the most Democrat city on the planet. They vote over 90% for the Democrat candidate, whoever it is. I mean, the crackhead Marion Barry was mayor there for 16 years. Remember, he got reelected in 1994 after getting arrested for smoking crack. I mean, that about sums up D.C. This fellow here is one of us now. Victor Jimenez, again, a former spokesman for the Democrat DC mayor, has officially left the Democrat party and switched to the GOP. And you know what? I'm gonna let him tell us why. Check it out. Um, I told, the reason I, I switched parties is because of everything that's going on in the country right now. We see, you know, uh, immigration through the roof right now, and that's affecting uh, a lot of Hispanic uh, families in my native, in my home state of Virginia, um, yes. and those people who are already struggling with, you know, making ends meet. 
Um, another reason why I left uh, the Democratic Party, it's because of the immigration, immigration issue that, that's going on right now in our country. Yeah. And if you look at the south, southern border, we have people who, thousands of people who are, you know, just waiting there. And I'm not saying we don't have good people trying to come into the country with good yep. intentions, but we also have bad people coming into the country with bad intentions. People with, you know, with illegal guns, with illegal drugs, and people who are, run, who are running from their law enforcement in their country. So we don't know exactly what they're doing here. Um, and so those reasons and more made me switch um, parties because Biden is completely destroying the economy right now and people can feel it in their pockets and and in their communities with you know high you know increased violence and increased crime and, and people especially in the Hispanic community can feel it yes it's so absolutely brilliant this guy is ab absolutely brilliantly summarized well we can summarize it even further you know why Victor Jimenez left the Democrats because he suddenly realized that Democrat policies destroy civilization. Democrat policies destroy civilization. Open borders, record inflation, critical race theory, mass unemployment, skyrocketing crime, defunding the police. These are all deliberate Democrat policies and they are all destroying human civilization. So Victor is but the latest Democrat to switch parties. And with the way things are going and with that billboard in the background, he will hardly be the last. <laughs> now, before you go, you will definitely want to check out my latest video on Governor Ron DeSantis announcing the formation of an election police force designed to enforce election integrity. You're going to absolutely love it. So make sure to click on the link and I'll see you over there. God bless.